Back now at 742, Jeff Bezos has always thought big. In 1995, he took his love of books and created a little website called Amazon.com. 17 years later, he's transformed the way we all shop and the way we read with the Kindle Fire. And the future looks pretty bright for the innovative CEO. This month, Fortune magazine named him their 2012 Business Person of the Year. Jeff, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. I know a couple of days ago you were disappointed when People Magazine failed to name you the sexiest man alive. So does this, <laughs> does this take some of the sting out of that, it? You know, I'm still recovering. Yeah? Um, yeah. This is very complimentary in the world of business. One of the venture capitalists interviewed in this article says, if you were to ask 100 startup entrepreneurs who the CEO they admire most is, he would show up you on 95% of the ballots. Go ahead. You can say something. I know you're <laughs> modest. But well, no, that's, that's a big deal. Flattering. You know, um, the fact is, Amazon has a pioneering culture, and so it's a big team of people who are experimenters and innovators, and we, we're willing to fail, we're willing to try things. And, and actually and lose fun, money the in the short term for profits in the long term. Absolutely. One of our uh, characteristics is we're willing to be patient, and I think it, patience is required for if you're going to invent. You've got a lot of wisdom. People always try to pick your brain. I've done it in the past. We've got Black Friday coming up. A week from today, what are your thoughts on this season? What are your thoughts on that day? I'm very optimistic about this uh, holiday selling season. You know, here at Amazon, we're getting ready to hire 50,000 seasonal people to help us with the peak holiday selling season. I think it's going to be a record season for us, knock on wood. Yeah, you've got a target on your back, though, starting on Black Friday. A lot of other big box companies and stores like Walmart, no pun intended, by the way, Target, they're going to start offering same-day shipping, and that's something that you can't offer to all of your customers. How big a hit are you going to take on it? Well, you know, we've always been in a hyper-competitive industry. E-commerce, even from its very beginning, has been hyper-competitive. That's a good thing. That's good for customers. It's even good for the companies that embrace that dynamic. So they're forcing you to innovate as well? Always. And that's what happens in business is companies force each other to innovate. And so we have to evolve. And, and, and we are. You know, we're, we're providing better customer experience today than we ever have. You People look, get, get, their, get their goods faster. We have lower prices than ever. We're ready. One of the areas where the world has become so competitive is in all our little devices, like the yes. one you've got right here. Yeah. You've got the Kindle Fire HD. You've got the Kindle Paperweight. Apple just came out with their new iPad Mini. Are, are you willing to say that you can compete fully on that, even in the area of coolness, which Apple seems to have had a monopoly on for so long? You know, I have a lot of admiration for Apple. They're a huge company, super successful. But we take a different approach. So if you look at our Kindle Fire HD, high-definition display, pack a lot of technology into a very low price point, $199, because we don't make any profit when we sell the device. We sell the device near break even, and then we hope to make money over time as people use the device. They buy eBooks, they buy MP3s, they buy games, and that's a different approach, and, it, and it's working for us. Uh, Kindle Fire HD is our number one bestseller globally. Let me put you on the spot a little bit. I think it was 1999 you were named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. All right, So I was just actually on a panel the other day where they're trying to figure out 2012's Person of the Year. Who should it be? Oh, my goodness. That's way too hard of a question Come on, for me. Give to... it a shot. <laughs> Matt Lauer. No, no. Is it, it, I mean, it could be Barack Obama. It can be, I mean, there are a lot of candidates. Who do you think it should I, be? You know, I, you, you have put me on the spot. I don't know. No clue? All right. Well, think about clue. it and get back to it. In us. an election year, you know, Obama would be a pretty good choice. All right. Well, listen, Fortune Magazine's Business Person of the Year for 2012. That's a big deal, Jeff. Congratulations. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. It's good to have you here.